it looked like an inferno and investigators say it was intentionally set a fire in a church tonight san jose police have arrested a suspect the heavily damaged church sits just south of san jose state nbc bears ian cole shows us the damage and he talked to the pastor st paul's united methodist church is boarded up tonight after a fire broke out around 2 30 this afternoon Police say when their officers responded, multiple witnesses flagged them down to say they saw the man who started it. Tonight, much of the sanctuary is gutted, and the front where Pastor Helen Kung stands is blackened by flames. I'm very saddened, but we're, we're a resilient uh, and uh, historical church. Pastor Kung says the church building was built in 1958, along with a tall organ that was destroyed today. All the things that are damaged can be repaired and replaced. Luckily, no one was hurt. The nonprofit that runs out of an adjacent building was empty too, but one employee locking up smelled smoke and called 911. Police responded to the church fire and arrested an unidentified homeless man. Witnesses say started the fire. They say he'll be charged with felony arson. We are daily dealing with a mental health issue and homeless issue, and our philosophy is to walk into it and be a solution to those issues. Ann Clark has been going here since 1976. That's over 40 years and raised our family in this faith community. Somehow or another it happened and my concern would always be that's got to be a troubled person. Four other churches reached out to the pastor to offer their buildings to host St. Paul's services. For now, they'll continue to worship in a separate chapel or outside. The church's message tonight is one of hope and forgiveness. There's a song that we use that goes, the church is not a building. Um, you know, the church is a people. And so that's what we believe and that's what we'll do. In San Jose, Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.